In this mini lesson, we will be answering the essential question, what are some reasons to abandon a book? These are three books that I have chosen not to finish reading for various reasons and at various times in my life. I have abandoned books, but I must say that when I did abandon these books, I always gave them a fair chance. I read at least 20 pages and attempted to give them a try. I'll tell you about that a little later on. Have you ever gone to a movie or rented a movie and then discovered that it wasn't what you thought it would be? Sometimes we select books and then decide we really don't want to read it. Sometimes we find books and even after we have given them a good chance, decide we're not interested in reading it anymore and want to find a different book. You may decide to read it later. When a reader stops reading a book, it's called abandoning or dumping the book. Today, I'm going to teach you that before you abandon a book, you should read at least the first two chapters or about 20 pages. After you decide to abandon the book, I would like you to write a simple response in your reading reflection spiral or your reading reflection in your, in your section of your notebook about why you are abandoning the book. And finally, be prepared to discuss in a conference with me about why you chose to abandon the book and how much you actually read of the book. Back in high school, we were all supposed to read a Newbery Award winner book, and the one I quote unquote chose was The Door in the Wall. I liked medieval times and I figured that it would be about knights and castles and princesses and that seemed like it would be a great story. But I started reading it and it was so difficult for me to imagine in my head. The words the author chose just did not help me create an interesting movie picture in my head while I was reading, and I kept losing my place. Needless to say, after about three chapters, I was done. So this book may have been amazing, but I just couldn't get into it enough to enjoy the story. Oh, and did I mention that the words were very small and the language was very difficult? And honestly, I had trouble understanding it. That's a great reason to abandon a book too. If you don't understand it, abandon it. Now, The Velveteen Rabbit, I could not get through because it was making me cry, and not the happy cry, the sad cry. The day I abandoned it was a day I did not feel like crying, and that's why I put it down. I've never had a reason yet to pick it back up, but maybe that will change. And then there's Julie of the Wolves. This book I tried to read back in fourth grade, and I struggled to read with it, or struggled to relate with it. Julie is out there with the wolves in the cold. Growing up, I was a girly girl and I didn't like to get cold. And so this character did not really interest or intrigue me because I could not connect with her personally. Looking back on my decision to abandon this book, I really think I was too immature to read this book at the time because I listened to the same book years and years later as a teacher, an adult, on audio, and I... I really better understood the story because I had the maturity to stick with it even though Julie may not have been a girl just like me. But she was tough and strong and those are qualities I've had to grow into as an adult. And perhaps as a child, I just wasn't ready for them yet. Anyway, in fourth grade, I abandoned the book about halfway through, and I remember because my yellow bookmark was in the same spot for days, I just wasn't I just was unmotivated to keep reading on after a while. Perhaps you're like me in fourth grade and you're just not ready for it yet. A certain book that you've tried, but you will be in the future. Turn and talk with a partner right now and buzz about some reasons readers abandon books. Maybe the reasons you've abandoned books in the past. After we come back together, we're going to make a list on the board and you have two minutes to discuss. So pause the video and then rejoin us. All right, reasons why readers abandon books. Some possible reasons might be too difficult, too easy, story moves too slow, not interested in characters or storyline, not what you thought it was going to be, something like that. So today's read aloud is a story called Madeline. Maybe you've already heard this before, but I'd love you to listen to it again with fresh new 
fourth grader eyes and brains. So Madeline is by Ludwig Behemons. I, I might not be saying his name right, but he is from France, I believe. The setting of this story is in France, and that's the green country on the world map. We live in the United States, the orange country on that map. As your teacher reads this book aloud to you, he or she will think aloud as they read and place post-it notes where we have a thought or an idea. So pause the video and then come back and rejoin us. Remember, readers, that before you choose to abandon a book, be sure to read at least a couple of chapters or 20 pages of the book. After you abandon the book, write a short letter explaining why you are abandoning the book, and you'll do that in your reading notebook, and your teacher will show you exactly which section to do that in. And finally, be prepared to discuss with your teacher why you chose to abandon the book and how much you read of it. Today, as you move to your reading spots, continue your independent reading. And remember to stop a couple of times during your reading to leave some thinking tracks or your thinking tracks on your think mark. And I want you to focus on any questions, connections, or predictions you're making in your mind. You're going to have 25 minutes again of independent, sustained reading time. During your book club discussion time today, you're going to share about the book you have read, any questions, connections, or predictions you've made, and if you have ever abandoned a book in the past, or if you've ever abandoned a book this year so far, and the reason why you've abandoned the book that you did this year and why. And don't forget to start filling in your reading log for the day in class reading counts too.